All right, I don't know if I said it before, but I'll be trying my damnness to do something other than men and women in relationships and interactions. But this is literally all people talk about, retweet, etc. on any timeline. So let's get y'all see the title. Let's get into this video. Yo, when did this whole we going 50 50 on the bills become goals 2019? Like, that's the. All right, so I hate when people start with something and don't give a reference point to what the fuck it is they're talking about. So I want to know, did you see a post that said goals? Did you, you know, saw a, pic a picture or a statement? What did you see to make it seem like dudes have a goal or women have a goal to split bills? Because other than that, it, sound it sounds like you just kind of pulled this out of your ass thing people doing is that the end thing because i missed the memo i thought it was a lot of men out there that wanted to be protectors and providers and take care of their family and making sure their wife don't have to stress and worry about bills the hand gestures and i things make it seem I, I really think he's just trying to just i think he was was trying to go viral it doesn't i don't even think this was this actually his idea or his you know ideology at all i really think he just made his entire video to go viral but that doesn't mean he's wrong but so let's keep going what happens to that now i understand somebody that can pay the bills ain't all you need ladies and you should still expect somebody to be able to provide emotionally and spiritually for your family but okay so maybe he's trying to be a Derek Jackson type of person because he saw all the fame and stuff that Derek Jackson got. I think that was that's his reference point because not only did he say, dudes, when did we stop wanting to be providers? He immediately went to the ladies. I know y'all want more things, but let me get on these niggas about this. Dude, do you not see anywhere where the women say that they're more than happy to go half because as weird it is I, it's weird to me but they said they like going out and working is I, I don't know why they like to work but some women said they like to work so you're literally saying that there are there's something wrong with what they want to do because they don't want their man to be the sole the sole provider at example i actually worked with a chick who before she moved jobs, she said her and her boyfriend go go fifty fifty, and I was kind of asking about it, like, do you, you know, do you think that's an issue or blah blah blah? And she said no nah, because you know, I mean, I work, he works. What's what's the issue? So there are women out here who look at fifty fifty as like it's just what we do. When did it become goals to go in to a situation having to split shit? Like, why is that your goals, bruh? Let's say this. Let me get, put an example where that could be a goal. And I'm assuming goal means that you actually plan and design something and, you know, drop a blueprint to do it. So let's, let's come up with a scenario where that could be an actual goal, right? Let's say you want to be, you want something to be your career goal. And let's say, but it only pays like, it pays like 70 grand, right? But you want a better house than that, right? But you, this is your passion, and that's what, and this is what you want to do. So you could say, yeah, I, I, I want my woman since women work. I want a woman who works, and we can tag team this, you know, and we can have a better house, a better situation. Th that could be a goal where you go fifty fifty. But it's not like you being a sorry ass nigga, right? Because if you make seventy grand, I don't know. That's not an easy feat. Not many, not a whole lot of people that make that. Not in percentage wise. So that could be a goal, but you still not some sorry ass who don't provide. You get it? In that situation, that could be a goal. But we're gonna pretend like dudes who make seventy grand and want and are okay with their woman putting in is just. We're going to pretend like this nonsense for the sake of this video because convenience. 
shouldn't your goals be to where you can take care of your family and if she wanted to work it's out of want and not a necessity like if she wanted to volunteer to pay the bill that's cool but it's not mandatory when did that stop be wouldn't it be okay if she wanted to just volunteer to pay the bill so it sounds like she can have a job but her income should be optional i would never say yes to this as for as long as women are mainstream are working that's fucking stupid why would you would we have half or 40 percent or a large portion god damn it a large portion of our resources going out of the fucking window it makes absolutely no sense again if both of them make 50 g's right and he can still take care of the house with his money what sense would it make if you waste it after taxes 35 grand a fucking year out of uh shit let's say 80 does that make sense to you does that make sense to you and your goal is something you strive to something you make happen something you make sure you capable of before you start dating bruh love is free but the house that house it it, it, it cost the shoes on little ray ray's feet they cost the food that you eat it costs you dating before you know if you can pay the cost to and then now you saying see the dating before you're in a certain situation see now we actually live in a society where we okay teenagers to date right before they have anything established right so we're going to allow them to date until they go to college and say, all right, no more dating because you're not established or even date in college. And then once they graduate college, OK, until you get the job, you can't date. You see the issue. So at what point is the cutoff point for you to get your shit together before you can start dating again? For one and two. Um, since we're assuming that her role even though she can have a degree all she wants, is not to put in on anything, right? So I want to assume that her her part of the you know relationship is going to be the traditional part, right? Because that's that's what I see left. If I'm wrong, say it. But that's the part I see that's left. So with that, with her her part being the traditional part, which is uh, cook, cleaning. All this stuff. Should we tell women, okay, you're not dating unless it's a known fact or it's proven that you can actually take on that role. If you can't take on that role, you can't date. How do, how do we go about that part? Or just or are we always only going to say, men, you can't date unless you make a certain amount of money. But yet at the same time, we're not telling women that they can't date men who don't make a certain amount of money because we're only into policing men again here give me half so we can live bruh i'm just saying yeah. there's a lot of people that want to be leaders but don't want to be do the leadership shit Doing a leadership shit mean your ass is spending 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day while you're single, making sure you can progress your life uh, farther enough, further enough in order to be able to take care of this family you want. That is a responsibility that you can't afford right now. So stay out of the relationship until you can. Now understand something. If she want to bring her half and double what you got, that's a different thing. If y'all want to get a bigger house or you want to get a nicer car, but if you need her money in order to be able to pay for shit. Literally, what's the difference? What's the literal fucking difference? You want to go bigger, you're going to. Rec it, he just made the example that I made. If you want to go bigger, you're going to need and you want hers. It, it, at that point, isn't it, is it going to become a requirement? Now, unless he's saying that if if it's a requirement just to even get the basics, it's still, yet again, irrelevant.
because didn't she know that prior to? So we're going to, again, we're going to require him to meet a certain standard. But even if he doesn't, she can still date him even though he should not be. It, it, you're, you're literally only putting responsibility on half of the problem. If he's dating is the problem, then women shouldn't date him, right? So when you see these people dating or anybody you know that's dating a dude who's not financially ready, shouldn't you be able to tell these women, hey, stop dating him? Or is that oppressive? You see how this does this doesn't even work. This idea that everybody keeps trying to push doesn't even fucking work. When did that become goals? That's all I'm saying. If it's your reality, cool. If that's how you live, cool. But when did that become something you settle and be complacent for? When did you like stop being like, you know what, even though right now I need her help paying our bills and the bills I said I would provide for my family and take care of, let me let me go to college. Let me further my education. Let me make sure in five years, now it's not a necessity for her. Now it's a want instead. Now that she can focus on the shit that makes her happy. Understand something. Let me take care of what I say I'll take care of. So you can focus on the shit you're supposed to be taking care of. Like your happiness, boo. I want you to be happy. Look at you smile. So, it, men should provide a situation to where the woman only has to worry about her happiness. Does this nigga exist outside of his check at all or no? Ask him for a friend. If I get with a woman, is what is her obligation other than her happiness? Let me see that smile. <laughs> it's easy to smile when the You should really email Derek Jackson to act to find out how he does it because you are you're you're way off. You're way off. You're way off. Now, again, you did go viral, so can't be too off. Even though that's, I just contradicted myself. But I just realized you can't be too off. But this, this is this whole video is just trash. It was play, ain't it? It is, ain't it? It's easy to smile when you don't been to the distance because, you know, health insurance is paid. It's easy to smile when the lights are on and I can see it, right? <laughs> Let me see it. Happy wife equals happy life. Bruh, it's hard for her to... I hate that fucking saying. I hate that fucking saying. The, the, no, but literally nobody has ever gave an actual example of that. Nobody. People have just always said it. So we really going to act like there aren't selfish women. It's just like there are selfish men who, even if you make them happy, they're still going to focus on themselves. So we're really going to act like it's just a given that if you make her happy, then you will be happy as well. The fuck out of here. I get tired of hearing that and nobody actually... Give us an example of how it's done. Be happy if she got to micromanage the shit you said you was going to do. She questioned whether you can protect for her and provide for her. She going to eventually get pregnant and need to be off of work. You want her stressing about the bills when she... So the whole time she's fucking working, the whole time, and spending her money on what? On what? Listen, if we're in that kind of relationship... And you're working, your money's on the table too. I know I know I know that's not what a real man does. That's why I just bow out of not even being one. But if you're working, your money's going on the table too. It's again that it, it it was literally I'm gonna say this till I fucking drop. It's just so dumb to waste forty to fifty percent of your fucking income. It makes no sense. Having a child, these are things that you got to make sure you have in order so she can stay happy. Because understand, if she's happy, you happy, right? That's how it should be. She happy, you happy. Huh. And let me tell you something, ladies, this shit that you got your eye on and the things you don't want your husband to have to worry about. But you can't focus on that shit if you focus on him lacking on the shit. Ladies, you have responsibilities, but... If he doesn't take care of his, then you can't take care of yours now, can you? Even though you have a job, so like, you know, he has to take care of his first, and then you, you we worry about yours. We're not going to talk about what yours are, but you know, you have them, don't, don't you? Don't you? 
Fuck Did he know. said he was gonna do. Now, understand something. Different strokes for different folks. I'm not trying to put then why make this fucking video? Why? If liter if everybody have different ide ideas about how relationships work and how you handle this type of stuff, why are we making this video condemning anybody who doesn't agree with you? Why? Why? Put a blanket on everybody. I'm just saying, if you want to be the head of your household and you want to take care of your family, I think your goal should be bigger, better and bigger than just 50 50 in these bills. She deserves exactly. better and you deserve better. And if that is your current situation, all I'm saying is don't get complacent. If right now you depend on her in order to be able to pay half the mortgage, make it into where in four years you don't have to. But quit. Quit relying on that. All wow. I'm saying is the reason I say that is because ultimately it's your responsibility. If you and your kids are on. It's different strokes for different folks, but it's your responsibility. It's different strokes for different folks, but it's your responsibility. Nigga, pick a side. The corner of the street because y'all got an evicted. Y'all got evicted. It ain't half her fault, bruh. It is not half her fault. It's wow. your fault. It is yours. Wow. If. You agreed to be that type A personality that was going to provide and protect for her. Now, if you didn't agree to do that and you told her up front that it's going to be some half shit, then cool. But ladies, let me know why this is cool. Like, because it's a lot of you guys. Because they have a right to want to work. Remember, that's what the fuck they do now. They're in the job place as well. The fuck is. What the hell? I don't get this. I want to work, but it's still not my fault. I want, it's, what the fuck? You're literally just playing to a you don't have to do anything mindset. Literally. It was in my comment session. Y'all was the main ones championing it. No, I don't want him to shoulder this burden by himself. And blah, blah, blah. Yo, we can focus on different shit. You got shit you can focus on. It's shit you can worry about in the household. But can I worry about the bills if that's what I want to worry about? So my, my question is not to say that it's mandatory for a man to take care of all his responsibilities because we know it's certain people that ain't capable of doing that financially. But all I'm saying is, why ain't that the goal still? This nigga keep jumping around all over the fucking place. In one second, it's, it's mandatory. In one second, not really. In another second, I know women like this. Another second, it's like, dude. Dude, pick one. What the fuck one is you focusing on? Whether or not you can reach it is one thing. But when did the goals be so lower that now we only aiming for 50-50? That's what the fuck is fucking me up. Shouldn't the goal be... You, I think that he's misusing goal. I think he's trying to say, why are so many men settling? Why are so many women settling? I don't think he, it was an actual go. I really think he's misunderstanding people being complacent and selling because he said complacent. I think he's mis misrepresented that as goals. To be able to take care of your family. Period. Period. If you ain't at that level, shouldn't the goal be to always strive there and better yourself that you can? So, ladies, do you feel like relationships should be 50-50? That... Throughout the course of your 60 year marriage, you are you should be responsible for half the bills. Or do you feel like it's still a man's responsibility to make sure that he can handle that for himself and for his family? Um, I know it's going to be a lot of different answers. And trust me, I'm giving you my opinion. And what the fuck does that tell you? And what the fuck does that tell you? It tells you this is not the same age as men go to work, women stay home, right? Right. Right. Again, you said it yourself. Different strokes for, for, for different folks. Why the fuck are we here? Yeah. What works for me don't necessarily work for you. So no tell shit. me what you think. Drop it in the comment section. Is 50 50s the new goal? Is that goals 2019? Or is it just something we settle for? Answer me that. Is that still goals? Is 50-50 goals? Or is that something settled for? 
Answer that in the comment section. A hundred percent and zero percent is tricking, so I don't know. My mom always worked and matched my father, so I was, so I raised seeing a woman. I think he meant I was raised seeing a woman go hard, just like my pops. I never heard them talk about a split. We just had everything. I know for a fact they both helped. If she has a dream, then I'll take care of it. All because I see her vision. If you just laying around being cute, kick rocks. Low key is petty to talk about any kind of split with the soulmate. It's on both of you to make sure the house is good. That's the same shit. That's the same fucking shit. What are you talking about? If I'm paying half, make your own lunch, clean your own doodle, -doo, track draws, clean half the house, you know the rest. Boop. I like when women say this, but if like the grass needs to be cut, they won't touch the fucking lawnmower. Don't tell me. That all was all of a sudden that there is that there is no such thing as your duties, but yet shit like you know lawn mowing the grass, hell taking out the trash is still a big deal to most women. Fucking if if the car if the car shut down for some reason whatever the fuck and somebody I like pop the hood look at something but y'all still are are don't like putting air in the fucking tires. We still got memes with that. Get out of here. So don't talk to me about cooking and all that when you're not going to do certain shit. Stop it. You want to be the man, the provider, the leader, then lead. If I'm splitting the bills 50-50, the leader and the provider has gone out the window. We are now roommates. Which room are you cleaning? <sighs> you going to fight half that battle? Somebody at the gas station? It's more of the same divided and conquered. It's the same as females cannot see the game for what it is. <clears throat> Couldn't have said it better. Thank you. Tony, I love what the fuck they got going on in here. And I don't know. I ain't talking, ma'am. Your family had a man waiting to take care of you since you was born, but you didn't want that. You wanted your freedom. What the fuck? Well, David, whatever are you saying, I don't get it. You click, I'm leaving this comment set, that part of the comments. It just boils down to people needing to have their shit together before they start playing house. That includes both the guy and the girl. No man should have to step up and save us from debt. And no woman should have to support a fully grown ass man. Thank you, white lady. See, this is why... Black guys go get white women when they get rich. They they get it. <laughs> I'm convinced that people who disagree with this hasn't listened to the entire video till the end. No, I watched to the end. He gave himself a plenty of cop outs is what he did. His entire point was why would any man have it to where his woman needs to hand over her check in any regards? But then he also said that I, I I get it, and I understand that women don't want to. But man, why would you? Why would you be okay with something your wife wants? You should, remember, you should be focused on her happiness. You see, you see how he jumped all over the place. What if it makes her happy to work outside the home, and come in and put her check on it? All all of, all of a sudden, her happiness don't matter. He should just want to do it anyway. Fifty fifty is a roommate. And what is a hundred? Nothing. Aren't you my kid at that point? I like when y'all try to use that analogy, but then don't even think about the other analogy. Because if 50 50 means we're roommates, then if I take care of everything and you get to keep your check, you're my daughter, right? That's the life of a teenager with this part time job, isn't it? You get to keep your whole check. And some parents don't even let that happen. But isn't that who you're most comparable to at that point? I get to spoil myself because my daddy lets me keep my whole check. He gets no pussy at all. I think he's talking about the guy that made the video. My man provided a life for me and the kids, and now I'm a nurse because of that. He can get whatever he wants from me. I I think that means... Is, is she talking about pussy or a part of her check? I don't get it. 
I, I don't I don't get it. Either way, isn't he supposed to? We're a union. I don't I'm blessed. He still provides. I have chosen to help because he deserves it. If you're a nurse making at minimum 50 G's, why the fuck wouldn't you bring? My God. What the? F all right. I can only speak for my house. We share all responsibilities to include our mortgage and bills. We both work and have successful careers. Working on building a business for him, kids are healthy, healthy and healthy. It works for us. That's a nice sentiment, but I think she's trying to say but, which would be multiple U's and not T's, because that says but. 2019 is expensive. It's very hard for one person to singly provide for a whole household these days, unfortunately. I'm sure a lot of men would love to provide solely for everyone, but that can be unrealistic and probably cause one major anxiety and depression trying to keep up. I mean, you see how much rent and property taxes are these days, let alone expenses of a family, too. It's a lot of pressure, but if you can do it all on your own, then God bless. All right. So that makes me that makes me think of a situation where I was having a discussion with someone at work before, an older woman, and she asked me the question, could I support a family on that then salary, which was oh it was it was, it was shitty, but because of certain circumstances, I could, but she would have to stretch a dollar, right? So at that point. If I forgot, never mind. I forgot I was going with it. I forgot. Jake Turner. I'm a provider, and my responsibility as a man is to provide. My bills are paid by my income, with enough left over to enjoy. Now I just need to find the queen to enjoy life with. If she wants to help, then it's her choice. <sighs> my God, that was so cringy to read. Listen, I can pay my bills myself, too. I have enough income. Does he think he's going to have enough income left over after he gets a wife? Now, unless he's made six figures, and I don't fucking know, but chances are you can afford that on your own in that community situation because you're single. When you add that other person, because women are a lot more outgoing than men, it's going to take a lot more of your income away from you. That's why a lot of guys preach the whole single life because you have you have more money. Preach, but nowadays the cost of living has gone. Didn't I just read her shit? I love my old school dad and uncles. There was no role confusion as the man was always working for the family. The husband took the lead in providing, protecting, and praying. The woman complimented his effort to make sure he was well managed in all things. 100% ex excellence in the village. Bring back the old school system. Family were a stronger team. Okay, you say that, old lady, but are you willing to um, give up your independence? Because a lot of women don't want to give up independence. And you can't have somebody within the unit. Unit being independent. Cause, and I know a lot of women say, well, the man is independent. No, he's fucking not. He has more of a possibility to go and be independent if he chose to leave because he's the provider. So he would be more able to go independent. But he's not independent. That's how he's taking care of a family. He has dependence, and that's a totally different thing than just being ass out. So nobody's independent. So are you willing to give up, ladies? Are you willing to get, willing to give up your independence to have the old school back? I this is the last one, and then I'm ending it. But I'll put the link in the description. I don't go half with my husband. He pays the bills. I take care of him and the household chores. I buy, wash, and iron all his clothes. I cook all his meals. If I don't cook, I purchase him a meal. I care for our youth and cater to him. If he needs me to step in, I do. When he has late, when he was laid off, I paid all the bills for three months without complaining. 
I still made him feel like the king he is. I used the money I saved from not paying the bills. Oh, see, that, that, see, I'm glad I did that before I got off. You see how her working, but still putting her money on the table and that money that she put on the table just went to a savings account. You see how that could make sense and work? That's how you can be a woman working outside the home and still your money is not put to use right then, but it's not wasted on a bunch of dumb shit making other people more money. Do you see that? All right, man. I'm out. Be right, not positive.